There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record in Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro, and that's saying a lot. Kaden live, hi, 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 hi. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Really? Like a box of chocolates? Like Forrest Gump set? Ah. Uh, yes, indeed. Life is, in fact, like a box of chocolates, but it is also not like a box of chocolates. But it is the box and the chocolates. But the chocolates are the box, and the box is also the chocolates. Yet one or both, and neither are both. And neither, neither. And the one is all. And the one. For you see, you must understand the poor laws of chocolate creation. The multi-dimensional four laws of chocolate creation. The first law is that chocolate exists. You know it exists because you can buy it in every candy store. And it tastes really good. And it would be a shame if it did not exist. 
for the chocolates in this realm, which you refer to as the No Moment, the No Moment of 2010. Whereas myself, in conjunction with this self, is approximately 300 years into what you would perceive to be as your future. And you cannot taste the multidimensional chocolates of the future. Nor can the future taste the multidimensional chocolates of what one would consider to be my past. But through this channel, I can enjoy the multidimensionality of the chocolates in the now moment. And embrace the chocolates and taste the chocolates through my channel. And they are quite good. For you have Oreo and Hershey and Nestle. That even though these are all separate brand names and labels, they're all still one. The one chocolate is all the all chocolates is the one. The second law of chocolate creation. Chocolate creation. Is that you always get back? What you bring forth, what you put out, you get back. So, seeing as you do not have a chocolate manufacturing plant, you've not gotten back much chocolate, have you? And that is to be expected. Nor have you followed your chocolate excitement. The third law of chocolate is something I don't quite remember right now, and I'll get back to you, but the fourth law of chocolate is that everything in chocolate has changed. With the exception of the previous laws, one of which I can't quite remember at the moment, but that does not matter. For in this moment we create our reality and our reality of chocolate. And poor scum said, that life feels like a box of chocolates and you never know what you're gonna get, but if you follow your chocolate excitement and understand the abundance of chocolate, and do not narrow your vision, so that the chocolate can only come in one way but manifest in a variety of ways that you have ever considered. Then it is okay that you do not know exactly what you're going to get or how it will come, because you know and trust that you are in fact receiving the chocolates. The chocolate is good. It is very good. Do you understand? Does this help you? Uh, oh, no, not, not really. Not at all. Well. That's just because you're stupid. God, what the heck are you smoking? As a matter of fact, it's the best hydro. Straight out of California, I suggest you try it. It helps me merge with my bald-headed channel. Who looks a lot like Captain Picard. So, I am Bashar and I say, make it so, because you are number one. Number two, you piece of dung. Thank you for allowing me to co create this transmission of chocolates and blessings to you. And I thank you. So, what crazy stuff did my channel Bashar talk about this time? <laughs> hey, someone passed the ball. Hey man, come on, you just took your head.